Hello! Right, so, wow, I look really white at the moment. Um, okay. Uh, I haven't done a proper pedal demo in a while, and uh, Ewan kindly lent me his uh, MXR Dynacomp, and uh, I've got the Behringer version, so I'm going to do a bit of a shootout between them. So, I'll show you like how I've got this shit set up. So, uh, down on the ground here, I've got the Dynacomp and the Behringer. Uh, what's it called? Dynamics compressor. Okay, before that, I've got my tuner, and I'm just using the memory man to split my signal in two because I'm too lazy to build a box to do it. Then the signal goes into each of the compressors and then into this Morley AB box, which uh, Mickey from Short Scale, who's a prince, uh, gave me free with some pedals that we bought off him. And then that's selecting what goes into the amp, which is mic'd with a SM57, which you can't see because it's fucking the same colour, i.e. black. Um, that captures my chatter. Uh, for those interested, some people have asked questions about how I do these demos. So I get the audio from the SM57 and the um, the AKG C3000B over there. They go down here into my little Ederol by Roland uh, audio interface. Uh, on the left there it's the SM57, on the right it's the... Um, C3000B. Now this may cause a bit of a paradox so let's close down this because yes everything's going a bit weird. Um, as you can see this is um, sonar so I'm recording the top track here is the is the sound from the amp i.e. nothing at the moment and this is me jabbering along. Uh, later on what I do is I silence the um, the uh, chatter audio when I'm playing uh, so that all you get is the SM57 which is really nice and then I marry that up with the clips that I'm recording here in the shitty quick cam software uh, in Windows Movie Maker. Yep, it's an extremely long, arduous and lame process. There's my flying V! Okay, so I have them set up down here and um, what I'm going to do is set them up with the same settings and then click back and forward between them. It's going to be easiest for you to see the settings on the MXR because the knobs are more visible! Um, <laughs> uh, so I've put the MXR on channel A, B for Behringer, so that's over here, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a phrase clean, so with this one off, then put this one on, then switch it over to the Behringer, and then back to the MXR so that you can uh, hear what the difference is. So um, they're at the same setting now. Here's, let's hear some hot licks. So as you can hear there, um, I think the Behringer was quieter at that setting, but that was both kind of like a fairly minimal compression. So. Righty ho! So, <laughs> so now I've upped the sensitivity to like halfway and brought back the output on both of them for uh, to kind of compensate for that. So uh, yeah, now you'll hear more of a pronounced compression. So I'm going to play um, like a picked riff so that you can hopefully hear that. I don't know why I'm talking like fucking Scooby-Doo today, uh, but there you go. So, clean first, then MXR, Behringer, MXR. <laughs> Right, so aside from the fact that I played that pretty much differently every time because I'm rubbish, um, I think you could hear that the the Behringer had, like that time the volume was similar, 
but the Behringer I think has more of a treble emphasis, whereas the MXR is more um, of like a full bodied um, sound to it. You can kind of just hear that just by clicking. So I think so anyway.